Kessler and Morgan West. We go places. Oh, well, I, I went somewhere once. Oh, it was it fun? No, oh, okay. Well, welcome back to X Play. When the first Miss Game came out in 1995, I was much younger. And also, its <laughs> less graphics and immersive play got millions of people addicted to point and click adventures. And at the time, it was a truly revolutionary title for the PC. And it's since spawned a number of sequels. Now, the latest chapter in the Miss Saga is in full 3D. Mm -hmm. And it's the first game in the series to offer a third person perspective. Now, does it live up to its predecessors? Here's our review of Uru Ages Beyond Mist. The Myst series has a bad rap with gamers. Yes, it sold well. No, you don't kill anyone. Uru Ages Beyond Myst is an adventure game where you wander around clicking things. Until you hit on the exact order to click certain clickable spots. This third-person perspective is a new for the series, so the first thing you're gonna have to do is create your character. I was a little disappointed in the character creator. This is as ugly as I could make Adam. Oh, but he would definitely wear Birkenstocks. I can't deal with you. I'm gonna play as me. Well, blonde me. So now you'll find yourself running and jumping. Well, no one expected the game to achieve Mario-like heights of platforming bliss. <laughs> You turn out to be a pathetic and ungainly jumper. And don't you hate it when you see ledges you know you could easily climb in real life? But alas, Morgan doesn't seem to have any upper body strength. You are a weakling. The story goes that archaeologists have discovered the remnants of a Denise city buried in the New Mexico desert. People all around the world, Morgan here included, are suddenly drawn to the ruins. You search for clues as to why the civilization fell. For thousands of years, the city lived lived beneath the surface. There are four ages to explore, and each age, of course, is packed with puzzles. You can jump from age to age through linking books. See how reading can be rewarding? And you may end up doing a lot of reading. Now, Uru was originally supposed to support Uru Live, where people could gather their virtual selves in virtual locales and scratch their virtual heads together while solving virtual puzzles. Then reality hit. Before the live portion could even complete beta testing, it was canceled. And lots of content got canceled too. And as the game ships now, it's shorter than other missed games. But have no fear, that lost content will be adapted and released in expansion packs. Do I even need to mention the art? It's amazing, detailed, gorgeous, and any other superlatives you can think of. This game will make even the beefiest video cards sweat at the highest detail settings. Uru Ages of Mist certainly isn't for everyone, but with an open mind, you may find there's more to gaming than just an itchy trigger finger. This game is classic Mist with a new twist. It's a shame it's only the start of an epic, but we can't wait for more. It gets a four out of five. Sit, Uru, sit. Good dog. Bloody historical combat and decapitation.